are you? It's been a while. <laughs> yes, I'm so sorry I haven't called. Don't even worry about it. I'm sure you had a bunch of stuff going on. Is it okay if I put this on? Yeah, just make yourself at home. Thank you. Good times, huh? Yeah, we used to have so much fun. You don't need to dwell on the past. You're doing fine now. Yeah, I suppose. I see you still have our old childhood keyboard. Yeah, I don't really practice anymore, but I like to keep it around. That's a nice place you've got. It's cozy. Thanks. It's small, but I like it. And I'm sure your place is huge. Well, it's not that big, but it lets me do my work, so. But it must be so nice living in LA. Well, as they say, location, location. <laughs> so, how are things? I guess you haven't heard. About what? About the stalker that I have? I would have assumed that the whole internet has heard about it by now. Oh no, I stay far away from those platforms. They rot your brain, you know. Well, I was really good for a while. I was having a lot of fun. What did you do exactly? Well, I did social commentary, so like reaction videos, that sort of thing. But what did you do? Well, if someone says or does something stupid, I make a video about it and people seem to like my opinion on the matter. That sounds kind of weird, no? No, I don't think it's weird at all, I mean, Lots of people do it, and I make a lot of money from it. No, I know, I didn't mean it like that. I just mean, it's weird that people pay more attention to someone's reaction than the actual statement being said. Yeah, well, that's the world we live in, so. People like drama, and I like doing it, so. So, going back to the stalker, what actually happened? Well, it all started when this guy DM'd me on Instagram, started saying these weird things. I ignored it at first, but then he somehow managed to get my phone number and started texting me. But did you block him? Yeah, of course. But then he got a second phone number and started texting me these like weird messages. It, it just like made my skin crawl. Like what? Initially, he said that he wanted to see more of me, whatever the hell that meant. Um, but then it just started getting creepier and creepier. Like how? He said that he wanted to see bruises on my arms and that he wanted to see me get choked. What did you say to that? What do you mean? I blocked him and then I reported him to the police. I even had to get a knife for my own safety. Why are you so interested in this? I'm just curious about what goes on in people's heads when they say stuff like that. Yeah, well, I'm not, so can we please change the topic? Yeah, sure. So, how are... Hey, sorry, I have to take this. Hey babe, is everything ready for tonight? Yes, we're good to go. Your friend's coming as well. <sighs> Thank you. It really means a lot. What was all that about? It's my boyfriend. I didn't know you had a boyfriend. Yeah, we met on one of those dating apps. I thought you said that stuff rots your brain. Well, yeah, but you gotta meet people somehow, and given how much the world has changed recently, I mean, it's hard to meet people in real life. But I do keep it to a minimum, though. You're getting kinda tired. You should probably rest. Some kind of joke? Let me go! Let me go! Someone please help me! Shut it! Well, well. 
Our star's awake. Igor! Why didn't you mess her up? We have a show to do. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Nancy, what the fuck is this? <gasps> Let me go. My big sister, so helpless, like a bird in a cage. Is this some sort of prank? Because you have a fucked up sense of humor. At least I have a sense of humor. Let me go, I swear to God. What? What are you going to do? Nancy, please, we could talk this through. Whatever I did to make you angry, I promise we can work this out. It's too late for that, Natalie. Why are you doing this to me? There you go. Always making it all about yourself. Well, today is your big day. You always wanted to be famous, right? We are about to give you an opportunity to have the performance of a lifetime. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that you are always the center of attention. You always have the spotlight. All the boys want to talk to you. And the girls want to hang out. As they say, watch out what you wish for. Yes, we are sisters, for Christ's sake. What the fuck is wrong with you? Sisters call each other, Natalie. Sisters are there for the other when they're in pain, and sisters help each other. It was always about what you wanted. Your career, your fans. The fame. And you didn't give a shit about me. And I was the one who had to take care of mom after dad died. I had to get a job. I had to pay the bills. Yet somehow, you were always the favorite. There, little Natalie. Making it so big in the world. But after all the shit <laughs> that I went through, and you didn't have to do anything. You always put your fans first. Now they'll see the real you. Is everything prepped? Yes. Yes, ma'am, of course. Good. Call me when it's ready. <laughs> of course, ma'am. Well, looks like our little bird proved to be more trouble than anticipated. Thankfully, you were there to save the day. Anything for you, my love. 
See, Natalie? This is what true love looks like. Sometimes people just need a little bit of love and affection. Clearly something you know nothing about. Fuck you. Fuck all of you! Well, save it. People are just joining in. Tonight, we're gonna make you famous.